Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. This week it's crash test buggies. That's right, we've taken three of the leading buggies on the market and we're going to put them through their paces. So let's go. So while all the kids are feeding, we thought we'd give you a quick overview of what we've actually got on test today. So first of all, we're going to look at the Mamas and Papas Pico Promet. Now this is a, uh, it's the cheapest one on the test. Uh, it's quite plasticky to be honest, although it is made of a an alloy um, frame. Nice things about it, nice really big sunshade here which folds down and then the seat comes up meaning you can then give it a longevity from uh, newborn right through to about four. There's a brake, let's say the brake's a bit plasticky um, but otherwise it's you know for what it, it, it's a good option for what you get for, for your money. Moving on this is the piece de resistance, the Rolls Royce of the buggy world, it's the Bugaboo. It's 600 pounds for this model. Again, big sunshade, and this has the ability to, let me just take the brake off, has the ability to uh, be also a newborn to four-year-old, which is what it's set up for at the moment. There's a number of different height settings to the buggy itself, which is quite useful, and all the way right down to uh, lying flat. In addition to that, one really nice feature is that you can move the handlebar from one side to the other. So you can either have it so you're pushing the baby away from you, or by a quick flick of the buttons, have it so the baby's facing towards you as you push. Movability is really good thanks to uh, big pneumatic wheels at the back and these sort of coaster wheels which look very much like uh, supermarket stuff. And of course, all important for the gadget man amongst you, five point suspension, how cool is that? Now moving on to the last one we've got on test, we have the Phil and Ted Sport which is fresh in from New Zealand. 461 pounds, it's cheaper than the Bugaboo more expensive than the Mamas and Papas, and is the only three-wheel buggy that we have on our test at the moment. Around the back there's a brake which we've found quite difficult to use because you really need to give it some welly. Um, but the, the cool thing about this and the, the, the reason you'd want to go for this over the others is because it has a double buggy facility that allows the second child to sit in the bottom, which is for those petrified by the idea of, any, of having two child is an optional extra. Um, bring that aside for one minute. Other nice things, it's, uh, it seems quite comfortable. There's an option, you can fold this sun trap down. And there's an option to turn it from the buggy to a newborn bed. And that's the Phil and Ted Sport. Want to win one of these to BT Internet Radio? All you have to do is answer the competition on Pocket Lint. That's pocket-lint, L-I-N-T, dot co dot UK. The answer is the second one, B. Stairs. That's our first test. They might be great for step aerobics in the gym, but when it comes to using your buggy, they could be a real pain. So we're going to put the three buggies we've got on test through their paces. We're going to do this as if we would do this when we're out shopping. So I'm going to grab at the bottom, my wife's at the top, and uh, Emily's there trying to eat the pram already. We've also got a baby cam, so which is uh, going to show her face up in close detail. How cool is that? So this is, let's go, this is the Phil and Ted Sport. All right, you ready? This is quite... This is quite a heavy buggy, so I think it really would require two of you if the, uh, if the baby was on board. You ready for this one? That was quite good, actually. It was quite heavy, to be honest, but the bars here are quite strong. They're all metal, so I, I felt I had something really to grip onto. What about you? I can do it on my own, and uh, this bit at the back does sort of oh, your legs slightly. Yeah. Next up is the Mamas and Papas Plico Promet. So guys, what do you think of that? That was pretty straightforward. Yes. Anything to comment? Do you think the handle was good at the front or? Um, well, that, that down there, is, it's, it's easy to grip hold of. You can grab it with one hand or two hands. And it's pretty lightweight as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's not heavy at all. I, I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. Um, but with two, it's With two, it's easy. really easy. Cool, and there we go. Next up is the Bugaboo Chameleon. What do you think of that? Um, well, it's not too heavy, so it's easy to pick up by this bar and just carry it down the stairs. But it doesn't mean you need two of you to do it when you're out. Excellent. 
planning on going holiday, got kids, then probably you'll need one of these. It's the Tugo from Trunky, a kids orientated suitcase. Why is it kid orientated suitcase? Well because it's got two ears. When did you see that on your wheelie bag last time round? It also has a little nose which doubles up as a locking system. Furthermore, and if this wasn't enough to say that it wasn't a kid suitcase, you can actually ride it. Yes that's right, you sit on the top uh, in this little well here and spinning the wheels obviously along the floor allows you to uh, have some fun. Now you can either turn the strap by Plucking it and then pulling it along, um, like so. Or uh, if you're in a rush, you can always use the carry handle, which is new to this design. Open it up, which is a tiny bit difficult to be honest. And it's a standard suitcase inside. There's a teddy bear harness, the uh, company likes to call it, and a little pouch for keeping uh, extra bits away from everything else. There's also, if you can call it this, a secret little compartment, which of course now we've told you isn't any secret anymore, and you can store probably maybe some Smarties in there, I'm not sure. Um, overall, it's, it's quite good. You might struggle to uh, get it on the plane as far as the uh, hand luggage is concerned, but if uh, you're trying to entertain children at the airport, this might give you... Uh, Give you some joy anyway. Good luck.